Hey everybody, what's going on? NGS back again for another video. Rocking my Assassin's Creed hoodie. And yes, I know, it's not a real Assassin's Creed hoodie, but hey, when I pull it down like this, I got my Switchblade right here, my authority level goes up. So yeah, I'm an Assassin. Comment down below, who's your favorite Assassin from the Assassin's Creed games? Anyway, today what I want to do is give you guys a first impression. And yes, I know, I haven't done one of these in a very long time, but hey, I felt the time was right. The last one I believe I was going to do was for Kingdom Hearts, and that didn't work out because I didn't play enough of it to do a first impressions on it. It just sat in my 3DS on my shelf for months on end. But hey, I'm getting through it. I am 75% through the game. I'm going to be doing a live reaction to the final world because apparently, according to everybody and their dog, Johanna, I don't know, people have dogs named Johanna. The ending is, a pfft, as Scar would say, it's the die for. So I'm going to be doing that. You guys will see that maybe in the next week or so. Who's to say when I'm going to beat the game? But today, I'm going to be telling you guys my thoughts on a device that came out early last year. This is something that, for a while, I had had my eye on. It always looked interesting, but I felt that there was not enough software to really justify the price tag of it. And what am I talking about? I am, of course, talking about... The Sony PlayStation Vita with the reflection of my webcam capturing software. Yes, 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 my friends. Today we're going to be talking about the Vita. And before anyone asks, like, oh man, you got the Vita? Let me add you on here. I'm the only other person in the world who has a Vita. Uh, this is not my Vita, per se. This actually is my brother's. Because while I originally wanted to get a PlayStation Vita for Christmas, I felt that, you know... Somewhere down the line in 2013, I feel the lineup for the games would be more enticing where they, where I personally would drop the 250 bucks. But since he said, you know, I'm getting a Vita for Christmas, I was just like, okay, sure. So whenever he's not playing, I can try it out. So this is my brother's. Don't try to add me on this. I'm just saying it right now. But I do get a lot of time to play on, play on the Vita when he's busy on the Xbox playing Minecraft or Borderlands. So... As you guys know, this is the main startup screen for the Vita. All you have to do is go like this, and we're greeted into the operating system. Now, one thing I really, really have to say about the Vita, and I want to stress this point to a T, every single fear that I had for this system, mainly due to Sony, it's just not there. It is not there. All of the stuff that I was fearing, Sony being behind the times when they released this system and wouldn't even be up to date with the, with the mobile with the mobile style of uh, like what you'd expect from a standard touchscreen control system, it's not here. Like all that stuff I was worried about, it's it's just gone. All those fears just pff, gone. I don't know where they went. It's like it's like where's the plot going in Naruto? Nobody knows. So first thing I want to point out, as you guys know, the Vita is a touchscreen and also has a rear touchpad. And one thing I'd like to compliment is that the Vita itself. It's very responsive. I've never had, in the couple of days that I've been playing this, I've never had any type of slowdown with the touchscreen. I've never had any type of, like, miss type whenever I'm typing on the virtual keyboard. I've never had any problems with uh, the connectivity, like, my hand to the screen. And even if I put, like, let's see if the Vita can actually do this. I know. Mad ghetto first impressions. If I go like this, hey, hey. There we go. Yeah, see, I can actually do this. Even though I'm wearing clothes on here, it can still detect that I'm doing stuff, which, for some reason, my phone can't do. I, I don't know why. Maybe it's something heat-sensitive, but whenever I try to do something on my phone, see, I'm trying to, trying to, hey, it worked. I don't know why, but it, it worked. That, that usually does not work on camera, so don't mind this. Anyway, yeah, Spider-Man background. I'm that much of a fanboy, people. Fuck Sam Raimi. Yeah, I had to put a jab in there. It's the first year. It's 2013. Uh, someone just texted me. I don't know where we're going with this. But yeah, the touchscreen is very responsive. I've had no issues with it whatsoever. And I want to draw attention to the Vita's operating system because this is fantastic. This is head over heels better than the XMB. It's not slow like the XMB. It's not sluggish. It's not all over the place. Everything is where you'd expect it to be. It's very customizable. It's very user-friendly. You have all of these dots which lead into the application, such as YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, group messaging, friends, near, photos, party, PS Store. And um, all you have to do is just really tap on it, and it leads you directly into the application, which is another thing that I really love about the Vita. Uh, it is a very powerful system, and by powerful, I'm not speaking specifically game-wise graphical performance, but that's the truth. It is also a powerful system for games. The graphics look stunning. Now, I only have one game that I've actually gotten the chance to really play, and that is, of course, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, which I am actually really enjoying a lot more than I did at Comic-Con. Uh, except the spammers, mind you. I can't, it's always Sackboy, Kratos, and Raiden. I'm like, Jesus Christ. And also Naruko as well. I'm like, damn, people. Damn it. Anyway, 
Um, the games look fantastic. I've played through PlayStation All-Stars. It's stunning. It runs great. It never slows down, never drops in frames. I also tried out the demos for Uncharted Golden Abyss, Unit 13, Gravity Rush. You see where I'm going with this. Anything that was available on the PlayStation Store, I got my hands on, and they look fantastic. I'll be definitely picking up Gravity Rush real soon. It's a game I do want to try out as, as well as Persona 4 Golden, which uh, that, that's kind of a given because <laughs> fucking Persona, people. But um, in terms of raw power... This thing is unparalleled. Um, it, the multitasking efficiency on this thing is incredible because I want to show you guys this right here. I just press the home button and it shows all of the applications that are currently running on the system. As you can see, I'm running a game, PlayStation All Stars. I also got Skype booted up. I got the web browser. I also got YouTube open, which YouTube, a couple of the apps, mind you, mainly the ones that I guess are more, I guess, demand more, like YouTube, they do take the place of the game. But um, you can have the PlayStation Store open, and it's so easy for you to go into the game, and this is something I really found great. I started a PlayStation All Stars for the first time, and it required me to download a patch. So, like, you need to download this patch. So, it's like, I'm like, oh my god, so I gotta wait, like, 10 minutes for it to download? Two things happened. Number one, the speeds were fantastic. Like, I'm getting faster speeds on this than I did with my PS3. And number two, when they say download the patch, all you have to do is when you press on the icon, it has a little indicator here for you to download the patch. You can download it, and in the meantime, you can do other shit. Whoa, man, I know this is just stunning for some people. It's like, but you can do that on mobile phones and iPads as well. But I'm just saying, this is a huge step up in comparison to the PS3 and the PSP because there, you had to wait. If you didn't have anything else to keep you occupied, bitch, you gotta go make a sandwich because the PS... You, you get what I'm saying. PS3 is fucking slow as hell when it comes to updating internet and all that stuff. But here, it's so efficient. You just download it, and it, it installs in the background. You could do other shit in the meantime, and you get indications right here in your notifications box whenever you do anything. So it says, yeah, this is done downloading. The patch has been applied. Now install it. And the installing takes like two seconds. I'm just like, whoa, man. Obviously, you can tell I'm really getting fanboy into this. But, um... Yeah, overall, like, from what I've experienced with the PlayStation Vita, as a system itself, this thing is fantastic. However, the problem that remains right now is that there are not really any quality games available at launch. Um, well, it's been more than... It's been... The launch window is far closed. But you get what I'm saying? There still aren't many quality games that justify you buying the system. There are no real killer apps. Sure, there are good games like Gravity Rush, Uncharted, and Wipeout, but are those really killer apps? Are those really system sellers? I don't, I don't really think so. It's got games, but it doesn't have the real push that it deserves. It doesn't have that big franchise. Now, I don't know why Sony didn't freaking get on Capcom to release a Monster Hunter exclusive to the Vita. Like, you don't think that wouldn't sell. But no, Nintendo essentially went their way, and they got Monster Hunter 4, and they got Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate on the Wii U. So, Sony, what are you doing? If you want games on the system, you got to take the extra step. You got to take the initiative. You got to go get those games that made the PSP such a big hit in Japan. Start in the motherland and sell this system. And then, as time goes on, you're going to get more people involved with the system, and who knows, they're going to put more franchises on here. But if I had to say something negative about the PS Vita... I would say the battery life. Like, the battery life, as expected, is nowhere near as good as it should be, even when you're having, like, all the power save settings on. And mind you, I know it's because it's a powerful system, but, I mean, uh, what, what is it with these devices these days having the shittiest battery life? It, it, it's just crazy. I mean, sure, this isn't something that I'm really going to take out of the house. Well, one, it's not mine. But it's it's something I'd play indoors, definitely. Like, if I'm just sitting in bed, chillaxing, playing in the game, I think that's the perfect experience for me for the Vita. It's not something I would take out with me if I'm going to uh, going to take some coursework or going to work and just playing it on break, you know. But uh, overall, I got to say the PS Vita is definitely not what I expected. It's a lot better. It's a lot faster. It's more efficient. It's definitely one of Sony's best devices as of late. However, if you can wait for the software, then I definitely think that this thing will get better. And... Um, yeah, guys, that's really honestly what I think about the PlayStation Vita. I'm going to be getting more games soon, so hopefully I'll be able to test out more of the new uh, features here. I want to try out Nier. I want to try out uh, how good the group message messaging is here. And I'll also just mess around with all the other, you know, all, all the other quirks and all the other junk on this system. I don't know. I'm just looking at this. This is one sexy-ass screen. That's a huge fucking screen, man. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, I can't wait to pick up Sly 4 and then do cross compatibility here. And yes, I'm getting Sly 4. Why? Because it's $40 right now on GameStop for some reason. $40! I, I don't know, but 
$40, you get the PSP version and the Vita version. How awesome of a deal is that? Awesome. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I am NGS signing out. Was I as big a fanboy of the Vita? Was I a Sony corporate cheerleader like you guys expected? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm NGS signing out. And like always, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.